Good morning, Mika. Yes, I have charts for you. I'm going to try to put this in some perspective and show how it's affecting ordinary Americans and implicitly uh, President Biden's approval ratings. So you can see here the, dr the dramatic increase in inflation from anything we've experienced in the last 40 years. And so you see it over on the right where we are now. You see a dotted black line that takes us all the way back almost exactly 40 years to hyperinflation that a few of us remember uh, back when uh, not only was inflation very high, but interest rates were 50 percent, unemployment was 9 percent, and we have not seen anything like this. We've not seen anything like this in a while. It's across the board. Prices are going up everywhere. People will see it in things like furniture up 14 percent, meat is up 14 percent, used car prices are up 37 percent, and the one that I think consumers pay the most attention to, of course, often is gasoline, which has gone from $2.20 a barrel a year ago to three dollars and thirty cents now now why is all this happening you have a combination of enormous demand we put a lot of stimulus in this economy people have gone back to work the unemployment rate is down in the four percent neighborhood and they did not spend a lot of money during the lockdown so they have extra money and on top of that you have all the supply shortages and things like that that you've heard talked about now one of the things that's been interesting about this to professionals and probably to the public as well is how much this was missed uh, both by the government sector and to a considerable degree by the private sector this shows you what projections were in the course of last year. And if you look at the first four bars to the left, this is a combination of Goldman Sachs, the Congressional Budget Office, the Federal Reserve, and the White House. So four distinguished groups. You see they were all project projecting 2% inflation all the way through their May forecasts. And it was only starting in July that they started to catch up with the idea that there was, in, in fact, going to be substantial inflation. And you can see their projections were rising, but they never even got to the 7% that we reported uh, at, uh, that was reported just the other day, as you mentioned. And so this was really missed. Larry Summers caught it. A few other people caught it. I'd like to think I caught it. But it was really missed by the vast bulk of the uh, of, of the professionals and most importantly by the Biden administration by the Federal Reserve who drive our economic policy 